Now I'm going to walk you through balancing the ghost. It's very important that your ghost is perfectly balanced for multiple reasons. To increase the longevity of the motors, it just prevents less stress on the motors. And if you're doing dynamic shots, it allows for the perfectly smooth movement in any direction. In order to balance your ghost, you need to have it suspended. So that's why we have it on the stand right now. And I'm going to be referring to three different axes. There's the tilt axis, and there's the roll axis, and then there's the pan axis, which is the top motor here. When your ghost is at rest and there's no camera mounted, it'll look slightly lopsided like this just because this motor is really heavy and you don't have the camera counterbalancing it over here. And if you're going to mount any extras, then you want to do this before balancing. So we're going to mount the battery on the back right here. And you can just Velcro that on. This will affect the balance of the pan axis. So you want to go ahead and attach this before doing any of the balancing. You can mount your battery wherever you want. You could mount it on top here, and it won't affect the balance at all. You could carry it in your pocket, whatever you want to do. But for our sake, we're going to just mount it on the back right here. So let's begin with mounting the camera. You have multiple places right here that you can mount your camera to, and this helps balance the roll axis, and it also gives you different options depending on what camera you want to mount. So we'll just start mounting it right in the center. So start, we want to balance the tilt axis. And there are two different steps for balancing the tilt axis. You want to find the center of gravity of your camera. And in order to do that, you can slide the camera forwards and backwards on the camera plate. You want it to just sit level. So that's about level. We'll lock down the quarter inch screw on the bottom. Okay. To balance, the vertical tilt adjustment, I like to tilt it down so the lens is pointing down at the table. And if I let go right now, it comes back to horizontal, which you would think is good, but to achieve a proper balance, you want to be able to turn the camera to any angle and have it stop at that angle. You want to loosen these knobs and then tilt the camera lens down. And now you can slide these 15 millimeter rods up and down. If I slide it down even more, it pops back to vertical really quick. So you know you've gone the wrong direction to balance that. So slide it the other direction. And it's holding a little bit better right there. So now it's holding that, that position I want right there. And we can test it find that point where the camera stops at any given position. And this makes it so the motor doesn't have to work any harder than it needs to. So once you've found that, that vertical balance, then go ahead and tighten down the knobs. And we can move on to the roll axis.